Hello Virgo, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do a quick love reading for you all. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs and any other major placements in which you may have Virgo in your chart. Very important to remember this will not resonate with all Virgos out there. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And if it is not your story, my lovelies, it is simply, simply not your story. Please, please, please do not force it as sometimes I tend to go into a lot of deeper things here on this channel um, and that are very, very specific. So, um, cross watchers you are welcome here but i do not know how to sugarcoat so take everything i say with a grain of salt as it does not pertain to everyone's story and timeline let's see what we got going on virgos we're going to be looking at how you're feeling towards your person how your person's feeling towards you and the mutual energy between you both oh damn oh damn oh damn okay all right virgos i have a new deck my lovelies this is going to be the golden journey pocket tarot i received it from one of y'all um thank you so very much if you want to uh, donate a deck to the channel my amazon wish list is below uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Like, share, hit the bell so you know when I post. Virgo, this is you. This is your person. This is the mutual. Roles can always be reversed. Go ahead and flip it as need be. So if you're resonating more with this side, take this as your energy and this is your person. Everyone's story will be different as mentioned. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can. You can visit my Etsy or you can visit my shop, lunajadebotanica.com. You can purchase readings, birth charts, synastry charts to show where yours and your person's planets match up in the chemistry between you both. You can book and I'm sorry, you could purchase all my candles, my oils, my shamanic wands. Everything will be there for you. Your energy is a little bit more warm, Virgo. So let's start with you. You have the Eight of Swords in reverse, the Six of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, and the Moon. Two sixes. Someone look up what the Six Six Angel number means. These cards are so stunning. I'm. All I keep hearing is, I love you so much. But we can't. But I can't. I love you so much, but I can't and we can't. Oh, I got the chills so freaking bad, Virgo. I'm hearing I love you to the moon. And then I'm hearing that song, fly me to the moon. Let me play amongst the stars. How, how what is that song called? probably just fly me to the moon um over here virgos you have the eight of swords in reverse six of cups six of pentacles in the moon i'm getting strong like a broken bond that's what I'm getting. A broken bond. I, I just did an energy read for you, Virgos, and it was so sad and emotional. And that's the energy I'm getting here. This might be a very emotional time for you. The moon is in Cancer, um, which does mean in your feelings, right? The Eight of Swords. Someone is so sad or just breaking free from sadness okay the eight of swords talks about breaking free setting everything loose no more restrictions no more boundaries not being trapped or bound to anything not being trapped to a broken bond there has been something that has been severed there is something that is broken and for some of you it is trust it is a tie a soul tie a broken soul tie so crazy who did the magic first that's all I keep hearing who did the magic first I'm, I'm I don't know what's going on Virgos I don't know if you or this person believe in doing like love candles, love spells, things like that. But that's all I keep hearing. Who did the magic first? And I think that there is a breaking of that. If that is um, 
resonating with you, okay? That Eight of Swords talks about no longer turning a blind eye to poor behavior. And Uranus is in retrograde, so no longer seeing things with rose gold colored glasses on, seeing people for who and what they are, seeing the situation for what it is. Is it toxic? Is it entrapment? Are you bound? The Six of Cups is here. This talks about a soulmate energy. This talks about a, a, an ex-lover, right? This is the X card, but this is also soulmate energy. With the Six of Cups here, you are breaking free possibly from past relationships or an ex, but there is soulmate energy here. Almost like what we take will be reward, will be given back, but with an upgrade, you know? You're breaking free from something or someone because you're about to get something much, much bigger. The memories are killing someone right now. Not literally, but the memories are, are causing so much nostalgia. It's awful. It's so painful right now. It's like it's such a painful time is what I'm feeling. And with the Six of Pentacles here, um, this means an unequal give and take, an imbalance things don't feel right or in alignment right now virgo or things that did not feel right or in alignment they're very very i don't want to say discoordinated but that's all i keep wanting to like that's all i keep hearing it's discoordinated it's discoordinated like there's so, like you're not on the same page at the moment with this person or haven't been for quite some time or goals are not aligning up right but with the six of pentacles this talks about either giving too much to someone or someone not giving enough to you or giving more than what you possibly can someone feels like they were robbed someone feels like they were robbed of time energy consistency and you never received the same back and with the moon here Virgo Pisces energy two Pisces energies this is also cancer um, that's why I keep hearing fly me to the moon fly me to the moon some of you, this is very painful to let this person go or to break free from this. It's a very strong bond that you had to sever or remove from, remove yourself from. And it's almost like some of you are waiting for this perfect alignment to happen. I'm hearing this song by, uh, oh, I almost said Mac Miller, but... Um, Post Malone, and it says, I've been waiting wide awake for the waves to come and take me back to you. I don't even remember what it's called, but I've done a reading where that song appeared as well. There, I'm seeing the number nine. September might be a very transformative month for you. Things are being removed and placed and like rearranged. I'm seeing the letter C. I'm seeing two C's. I'm seeing a butterfly. I keep hearing C, just be patient, just be patient. Some of you are not wanting to rush into a connection or a relationship. There's a small version of this connection that has, I'm sorry, but it has died. There's a small version of this connection that has died. And the two parties, which is you and this person, Virgo, are refusing to see that it has died or accept that it is no longer there. And that moon brings emotional uh, <clears throat> emotional feelings. It brings tension. It brings sadness. And it brings unknown. You're refusing to believe that this connection has died. And that's why it's so hard. That could be why it is so hard. Or for some of you, it's just over, you know? It's hard to see what's coming in the future because the mystery means like you don't know what's what's coming in. But what's taken away is always given back in a much bigger way that's more satisfying. 
over here in the in I'm sorry in your person's energy queen of pentacles in reverse the four I'm sorry is that the four nine of pentacles in reverse the empress and the death Scorpio energy I wish I could go back. That's all I keep hearing. I wish I could go back. Someone feels like they're in shock. Somebody feels like they're very much so in shock. Or like unbelievable or like a bad dream. How did this happen is what I'm hearing. It's a very emotional day, I think. With the Queen of Pentacles, my loves, this is the Virgo card. Nine of Pentacles, this is the Virgo card. Empress can be Virgo, Libra, Taurus. And Death is Scorpio. You're on this person's mind. You are in this person's energy. This person knows that it's done. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse, no longer having the Virgo in their life, right? They feel like they've lost you. And the Nine of Pentacles, for some of you, they think that you're already dating or dealing with someone else. But I'm getting, I had you and I lost you. Or for some of you, it's like you had me and you lost me. you don't want me and then i'm hearing you don't want me to be happy there's something very strange about this um with the queen of pentacles and the nine of pentacles both together both in reverse queen of pentacles means no longer having that person right the queen of pentacles is that virgo card on top of your house home health money and with the nine of pentacles upright this is single this is abundance and when it's in reverse this is someone who is not single so for some of you virgos this person didn't feel like you were very loyal and some of you this person thinks that you've already moved on or you've been moving on without them and for some of you it's like well, i've lost my virgo she won't be single she won't oh have you heard that song she won't be lonely long she won't be lonely long i had you and i lost you and with the empress in reverse this is like a growing lesson for both of you the Empress here talks about forward movement, expansion, grace. It talks about everything coming into fruition, right? Anything the Empress touches is turning into gold. I'm getting someone is like strongly in their head thinking we could have made it work. Instead, we're walking away. We could have made it work, but instead we're walking away. And with the death card here, an obvious ending. An obvious ending. It may have not been a beautiful ending, but I'm getting strongly someone is like, something beautiful is ending. Something beautiful already ended. Something like that. Like it hurts them that it's over. I'm getting like not so much emotion from them, more so emotion here, but not so much emotion from them. It's almost like they feel I don't necessarily want to say indifferent. They're just trying to accept it. But I think you're very much so in their head at the moment. Yeah, I got the chills. Ooh. In the mutual energy, my lovelies, we have the two of cups and the ten of cups. I'm hearing that song by Adele. We could have had it all rolling in the deep. I'm hearing that song rolling in the deep. The two of cups and the ten of cups. 
whether this be you two together or you two separately, I do see a happily ever after on its way. The two of cups is here. Soulmate energy. Transformation. Wish fulfillment. A relationship. A spouse. A marriage. A supreme connection. Body, mind, heart, and soul is coming into fruition it is coming into your energy whether with this person or the both of you separately a new love is coming a pure love and with the ten of cups here a healthy love a long lasting love something very very happy exciting and fruitful something that you can build up someone you can build with I'm hearing golden feathers you're both on the same timeline you're both on the same frequency you're both on the same level same mindset same healing journey I have the chills up and down my body like so bad you're both very much so in tune with each other whoever this is that is coming for you or if you guys are coming back together whoever this is for you I'm hearing never let me go you're gonna be smitten Virgo oh I got the chills my eyes are watery you're going to be smitten by this person and by this new love I'm hearing the song, never let me go, never let me go, I will love you till forever. I have no idea who sings it. Um, Y'all can Google that. I have no idea who sings it. I feel like I haven't heard that in a while either. But there is passion coming. There is loyalty coming. There is a connection coming. Virgos, I have the chills everywhere. If this message is resonating with you, let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Let's get some soul confessions. These are my, uh, this is my deck. You could purchase these on my Etsy, on my website as well. Uh, let's see what we got going on. Virgos. With some soul confessions. I feel like this is a very light, airy energy. A lot of Pisces energy here. Show me some. Oh, happy spouse, happy house. I want it all with you. Virgos, I think a lot of y'all are ready. Happy spouse, happy house. I want it all with you. I think, Virgos, a lot of you are ready to settle down. A lot of you are ready for forever. Ooh, I got the freaking chills. You're ready, Virgo. You're at that point in time or in your life where something serious is what's on your mind. Something long term. I'm no good for you. You deserve much better. Yeah, so I don't know if this person feels like they're not good enough for you, if they have some growing to do, or maybe you guys just didn't match frequencies. This one wants to come out, so I'm going to pull it. I'm not ready for love right now. I still have some growing to do. Yeah, so someone is still growing into who they want to be and who they want to become. Uh, I'm going to put that back. Give me one for the mutual. Your anger and aggression is too much for me. Your words cut too deep. Know your worth and don't settle for less. Settle for less than what you deserve. I don't feel like that's the mutual, but there is it. They are telling me that's the mutual. Your anger and aggression are too much for me. Your words cut too deep. Know your worth and don't settle for less than what you deserve. Give me one more. Oh my gosh. 
I feel like there was like a huge falling out with you and this person. I don't know if y'all will come back to reunite or you needed to cut this person off to find your soulmate, Virgos. But I feel like there was just too much going on in this connection because under the deck, I don't know how things got so bad between us. Yeah, I definitely feel like there was some very big falling out, some very big, uh, some very rough um, words being shed. My ego is too big for my own good. But I, it, it's very strange. It's like, I wish I could feel you right now. There's like some obstacle here that has not been overcome in regards to the situation, even though it might have been hasty. There is still some very, very deep feelings that run here. And look, underneath the deck, what you don't see coming, what you don't expect in the overall energy, the Nine of Swords, a whole lot of stress, anxiety, nightmares, um, overthinking. I think you're both up thinking about this situation. I think you're both watching the other walk away. And I think you both are realizing that you want and deserve better whoever you and this person may be, okay? And I think, look, the Page of Pentacles, it may just be coming for both of you or it looks like it's you two going separate ways and new stuff is coming in for both of you. But we have the Five of Cups in reverse. You're both trying to mourn this connection. It's very, very difficult. I'm going to get some... Um, What is this called? What is this called? Magic of You Oracle cards. Show me some magic. Oh, right away. Orenda, honor your mystical creative force. Some of you, this is going to help you with your creative ventures or your just ideas. Tangibility, make your dreams real. Yeah, there's definitely some soulmate energy. Some of you are manifesting this partner. I'm getting strong Pisces energy. Very strong Pisces energy. There's going to be a rebirth in your love life. This one wants to come out. Resilience. Burn away the past. Oh, this person either needs to let go of you or you let go of them or you guys let go of your past together. We have solitude. Alone but not lonely. Yeah, there's like, there's some sort of break that you're taking here, Virgo. I do see that. I do feel that. But that is what I have for you, my lovelies. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. And I am sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity. May peace always surround you. Love you so very much, and I'll talk to you soon.